craft company is branded absurd for selling disturbing knitted underwear packers for transgender boys to feel like they have male genitals. Welcome to the Dumb Dumb News Channel. This channel is dedicated to reviewing and discussing news stories from around the world. Help me trigger the YouTube algorithm by pressing the thumbs up button, subscribing to my channel, leaving a comment, and sharing with someone you think would like this content. The channel has hit 200 subscribers, and I want to say a big thank you to the supporters that help with the thumbnails, the likes, and comments. Sources will be linked in the description, so you can read the full details yourself. The article states, a craft company had been slammed for flogging disturbing knitted packers for trans kids to put in their underwear so they feel like they have male genitals even allowing parents to pick their length. US-based company Stitchbug Studio claimed they had made their mini genital-shaped bitty bug soft packer appropriate for children since their other gender-affirming products are only fit for teens and adults. Stitchbug Studio responded to the criticism by removing the image of the bear and adding a disclaimer in the product's description denying it's aimed at infants or very young children. An outspoken UK trans campaigner known as Rose of Dawn labeled the idea absurd and inappropriate. However, the controversial item's blurb does still state the item is in youth sizes, and 32-year-old Rose believes the denial was damage control for the company's dodgy product. Rose, from London, said, it's inappropriate for a child of this age. It's warped to even think this is acceptable. I find it quite disturbing that this kind of thing is being normalized. It's putting a message onto a very child that you're not okay with your genitals, put this little thing on instead. I think there's a big risk that they can be affected mentally big this. One Twitter user posted screenshots of Stitchbug Studios listing, they penned, the entire purpose of a prosthetic penis is, is if a trans-identified female has some sort of genital anxiety, they can wear it to alleviate the dysphoria. Why would a very small, diaper-wearing child have any concerns, anxieties, or even awareness of their genitals? A second commented, these things shouldn't even be designed, manufactured, and then sold. Why is this permitted? While a third added, this sums up the whole insanity. Stop thinking about kids' genitals and focus on making sure they get sleep, are fed, cuddled, read them a book occasionally, maybe teach them the alphabet. There is a very very dark seedy side to transing children and here is the evidence. My thoughts are why are adults focusing so much on this part of a young person's body? Young people have so much to learn about the world and themselves, as they are growing that focusing in on one part of their entire body is probably giving them more anxiety than normal and making them more confused about it. Once a young person starts to have anxieties, why not help them through those issues instead of telling them they feel that way because they are a different gender, give them hormone medications and physically alter their bodies forever. I agree with the Twitter user that wrote, stop thinking about kids' genitals and focus on making sure they get sleep, are fed, cuddled, read them a book occasionally, maybe teach them the alphabet. Those are my thoughts, what are yours? Leave them in the comments below. Please share this video for education and awareness. For the Dumb Dumb News Channel, I'm Dumb Dumb.